Hello there. Welcome to Easy Rust. This is a, uh, a video version of a book that I put together last year. I'll show you the book. It's right here. Uh, I put it up on uh, GitHub and uh, it, uh, it got uh, some attention, which was nice. Um, and the book is about um, learning Rust uh, with two, uh, two advantages. Uh, one is um, I use a really simple English in the book. So if English is not your first language, uh, maybe you can still understand it. And the other thing is uh, you don't need to install Rust to, uh, to learn it. Uh, what we do is uh, we do everything in the Rust playground, which is over here. It's at uh, play.rustlang.org. And you can just uh, open it up in your browser and uh, start typing and start learning. Um, so here is the playground and we're going to look at that right now. First of all, you probably want uh, something a bit darker. Um, I like, uh, you go to configuration and uh, you can choose your theme. Uh, I like, uh, it's called Idle Fingers, which is uh, kind of somewhat dark, but not too dark. And uh, then you just, uh, you type you know, whatever you want. When, when you start uh, something new on, uh, on the playground, it will start with this uh, hello world. And you just uh, click on run and you can see the results down here. There it is, hello world. And then you can, uh, you can change it and uh, run it again. Um, and there's some other things to know here. Uh, first, there's a debug here. When you click on that, it shows you debug and release. And the difference is uh, usually you will use debug. Debug means it compiles faster, but it runs slower. Like it's still really fast, but, uh, but if you want to go really fast, then you uh, choose release and it will compile slower, but it will run faster. So release is when you are, you're done your product and you want to uh, give it to somebody to use and you don't care if it takes a long time to compile, then you uh, click on release. Uh, but no, we'll, we'll be using a debug for most of it. Actually, all of it. Uh, we won't be needing release. Uh, stable, this just means the, um, the stable Rust version. It's uh, February the 1st, 2021, and this is the newest version. And then there's the beta and nightly, which is like if you want uh, new features that are not uh, not finalized yet, but uh, we don't need to use any of those. Um, we also don't need that. Backtrace is like extra information when something goes wrong, but uh, we don't need that either. Share, this one is really useful. You, uh, If you have something that you want to share, you click on that and you can see this is a permanent link. You can, uh, so you can share it with somebody. You can make a, uh, a gist. If you click on that, then it shows it. There's the code, and you can share it that way too. There is also this open a new thread in the Rust user forum. So that's if you have a problem and you need some help. Then you just click on that, and um, it takes you to the uh, to the forum, and you can uh, just share it right away, and people will help you to solve your problem. And let's see, tools. There are two, these bottom two, we don't need to look at these, but this one and this one are quite nice. Um, the first one, Rust Fumpt or Rust Format, is uh, say you're writing a lot of code and you, you know, your formatting is not very good. You have too much spacing and it's starting to look ugly. Then you go to tools and you click on Rust Format and makes it nice again. So it takes out all the, uh, you know, all the, all the wrong spaces and things like that. Because in, in Rust, uh, it's not like, uh, you know, Python uh, spacing matters, but in Rust, it's uh, things like semicolons. Um, it's the syntax that matters. And then the other tool is this one called Clippy. And Clippy, gives you lots of good advice. Mm. Clippy is really, really nice. Uh, we don't need it right now because uh, we don't have any anything complicated. But later on, if you uh, if you write something complicated, 
Clippy will tell you if you're maybe using too much memory and there's a better or a faster way to do it. So um, Clippy is like after your program runs then uh, and you maybe you want it to run faster or better then you can uh, you know see if it has any suggestions for you. So Clippy is really nice. Everybody loves Clippy. And then uh, that's about it. Um, you can also change the orientation to there's horizontal and then vertical. You can see the results on the right. And that is the Rust Playground. Uh, next lesson will be about comments.